the cane or no. the juice out of the beet. The other thing you've got to do is evaporate the water out of the juice. Well, but the well, beet. Hey, they can oh. make whiskey. They can distill sugar cane juice. I, I understand <laughs> that. But, but, do, but yeah. fuel cost, fuel cost. Every tree in Germany has an owner. And a name. And a name. <laughs> And a name, and this is they not a joke. Tree is called Johannes. Is at this time, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> specific, you wouldn't believe it. So you're Rudolph. gonna go and cut down your neighbor's tree so you can make a little bit of sugar. He's gonna sue you. Oh, coal. Into it's be coal. the next will, century. Will, the fuel of there the are no trees so available. Yeah. And, and, and they also they also the sell the right to harvest no. the, the branches no. that fall on the ground. Yeah, Fine. I mean everything. They're all the nuts. The the right. Acorns are all. In the eighties, when we were in Germany, you could go through the forest, and all the trees have a little name. They have name them. plaques on each tree. Yeah. Like of the family who owns them, or like this. No, the, no, the trees the tree. have names. Like this is Robert the tree. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then you have the Germans go through the forest and they have to clean them up. Three. With a broom and a rake. Okay. Hi. So yeah, we're gonna have the. That's not that bad in 1630, but it's close. It's close there. And the forest mice are more controlled than the burger mice. You. In the army, if you bark the tree with your truck, you have. Had to pay the total value of all the lumber the tree could have ever produced. And if you just break the bark on it, and but they if have you this run over a chicken, yeah. even today, run over a chicken, you're going to pay for all of the eggs the chicken would have laid and all of the children the chicken would have had. I mean, it's just. <laughs> They're Germany. The Germans are precise. Well, and, 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 and in period, what they did was they did something called how do you pronounce it? Copsing, coaxing, whichever Co it is. Uh, cops. Cop, yeah, which is which is they had the trees rootstock, and so they let the tree you know branch up and have stalks coming up. Coppicing. And when they reach a certain oh, copsing, and when they reach a certain diameter, they cut that one off. But leave the other so that the rootstock keeps growing, and so a few years later you have another piece of tree, and so, so you, you can't. Start driving a tank so you don't those. cut the tree down. Yeah. In the first book, Eric actually has people going out into the woods shooting deer. That he doesn't mention, however, how many of them got arrested by their German neighbors. No, 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 no. Okay. That's not correct. What I said in there was that they were they knew that they were officially breaking the law. Yeah. But with their rifles, they figured. Yeah. Let him try to. <laughs> let him try to. Well, they still want to get it. They were probably drug on for a long time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. All right, we got any more questions, or is it time to come up and taste some chocolate? Okay. Chocolate! Yeah. Oh, yeah. There is a question. Go ahead. I've been going way back. So after you yes. lied the cocoa butter out. Oh. The cocoa, yeah. What did they do with it? With oh, the cocoa, cocoa butter? butter? Yes. They added it back in. Or they sold it to the cosmetics dealers. Okay. Which is what we still do with it. It's okay. more valuable as a cosmetic than it is putting it back in. It, it's more like valuable as a food. cosmetic as a food. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's, it's, it's worth it. It's which is more than worth its weight in gold. Has other fats in it. Like oh, yeah, and then, you, and then you get to the Brits. Food okay. purity laws. You get to the Brits. The Brits would grind up brick dust, add a little cocoa to it, and sell it as cocoa. Oh, wow. with with yeah. pig fat in it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's where the first food purity laws in England came from, is chocolate. Cadbury <laughs> was trying all sorts of things. Cadbury became famous because he decided that British sailors needed chocolate as much as they needed grog. So he convinced the British Navy to carry a supply of chocolate for all the sailors. That's why they have, instead of having coffee, have cocoa on lunch. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Because Cadbury... Got and in there Mary first. Stark got that first royal pack. That's and right. It, and the development of the tropical chocolate that yeah. didn't melt on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> More well, questions? Well, that's a, Hershey's that's why Hershey's is different because they couldn't ship it until they could keep it from melting. Uh, M &M's, that's where M &M's came from. M&M's came yes. from that. Go ahead. Who's over here? I saw. <laughs> no. So, uh, what is the difference? Is there any difference between cocoa and cacao, or is it just? Why cacao? Do they have to cacao, uh, no, that's just a pronunciation thing or oh. a spelling thing. If it's if it's the powder, it's cocoa, or it's a cacao, or it's you know 
whatever um, whatever language. The ground up fruit of the theobroma tree. Exactly. Yummy. Ground up nibs, which is where'd you put my hair? They're right. They're there. eating nibs over here. I didn't steal them. I'm waiting for the bacon chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can wait a while based on what she said. <laughs> All right, she Paula. Me no, Paula buys my articles. So. <laughs> <laughs> now I she select. Technically, Eric buys them. I just select. Them. I know I, how it works. You say, Eric, I think this is what we're going to buy. And Eric says. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Basically, I write the checks, but the decision is made by her. And I don't even try to keep up with the magazine any longer. I just can't. I just, yeah. Unless somebody yells at me and says, you got to look oh at this article. Oh, my God. I <coughs> pick it up when I go to <coughs> You guys, excuse me. I'm going to be busy for a minute. Yeah. I had a question. <laughs> can, um, I, know, I know you're going to be snarking on Monday, but since we're in the chocolate panel, can Eric give us a hint as to if there will be any chocolate developments in the next couple of months? You're waiting for me to write my my story. Um, <coughs> her. Her. <coughs> Unless you <coughs> could jump ahead of her and write a story. That's I don't write fiction. Sorry. Want to bet? Wait, wait, wait. That's what say we all again. said. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> say that again very slowly. I do not write fiction. I have no plot piece. <laughs> That has preceded every new author we've had. <laughs> no, okay. Okay. If you're here tomorrow, if you're here tomorrow, Virginia will be here. And Virginia, it was so hilarious because she stood up and she goes, she goes, no, no, I can't do fiction. I write carefully researched analytical historical pieces. And Eric said, <laughs> what, 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 okay, what do that in fiction. What, yeah, what, uh, the what Virginia she, he's talking about is Dr. Virginia DeMars, who happens to have her doctorate in early modern Germany, specializing in the area that we're in. She's and an incredibly who now valuable two asset. Plus two novels in Which the, is why our history is so accurate. New York Times best-selling yeah. novel. It's not a fiction what? story. It's a story on chocolate. There you go. <laughs> we'll work with you, trust what, me. What, what Virginia actually said to me was, I don't do conflict. I do common sense rigorously applied. Ah. Which, which doesn't lend itself to fiction. It sure it does. Write a story, and that's where her story about Veronica Richter, who is common sense rigorously applied. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever said it to Virginia. She's not here yet. I've often thought there's a little bit of <laughs> question this extent um, without giving away any There are going to be coming out <laughs> starting to come out books that deal in with the new world. And the first two that will be coming out, one of them is a book by Ivory. It will be his stories only. It'll be like Virginia's table stuff. It won't have any stories in it. And about half the book is a string of stories involving the Japanese on the West Coast and the other half that involves various adventures of people in uh, starting in Brazil but mostly in, in what was then called the Wild Coast but today's turn to the Chocolate samples up here. Yeah, come on up. You know, on up. And you know what Iver's doing on the West Coast, right? Come on up. Yeah. Iver? Iver. 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 Iver Cooper. You know, he's that's one of our authors. Place. And he's doing perhaps the most interesting history change that we've had recently. Uh, Iver is exiling the Japanese Christians to the West Coast and forming and putting them in around Seattle. Selena's. San Francisco. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Then, uh, I'm doing a book that Walter Hunt takes place in North America. Come on. Who's the other side? We'll be doing a book. We go from New Mexico. Somewhere in all. Come on. Yeah. 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 Yeah